Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple to Life and welcome to installment number 30 of Viewers Knives. All these knives are made by you guys, the viewers of this channel. It is so cool to see what you've been making, so let's get started. All right, the first knives we'll look at are sent to me from Noah, and uh, he doesn't say where he's from, but just sharing some pictures of, first of all, these two knives. These are both made of 1084. The larger one there has Coca Bolo for the handle scales, and the smaller one has Paduk. I really like the classic Bowie, uh, you know, that clip point there, but in a smaller package, more, uh, you know, not such a huge knife. I think these are really nicely done. And then this last one he shared, he doesn't really describe it too much, but it looks like some type of a, almost like a, a well, it's got a worn cliff blade on there, but it looks like it could have been some type of a karambit knife really like that rock patterning that texturing you put on there excellent work noah and thank you for your wonderful email this next knife was sent to me from Enes, and he's a 19 year old from bosnia this is a recent knife he's made he made this from 80 crv2 steel uh, did a really nice grind on there and for the handle scales he used plum burl uh, he's got this blade hardened to a 62 uh, hrc so it's going to hold a solid edge and this is just a beautiful looking knife he also made the sheath for it and also i'll put a link to his instagram page you can check it out below he's making some really great knives and is thank you so much for sharing this this next knife is sent to me from Matt, and he's a relatively new uh, knife maker. He's only been making knives for a couple of months. Uh, he made this one here from quarter inch thick 01 tool steel. He used the walnut for the scales with quarter inch stainless steel pins. This is a great looking blade, and he actually hand filed that gut hook in, and that is a lot of work, and that came out super clean. Matt, this is an excellent looking blade. Keep up the great work. All right, another gentleman named Matt has sent some pictures in. Uh, Matt is actually working as a millwright in Washington State at a veneer mill, so that's really cool. And uh, most of these knives that he makes are out of 1075, and he does the stock removal method. Uh, I really like the variation in size and shape, and then in the different types of burls and, and really great looking wood handles that you use. Very, very nice work. Also, I'll put a link to his Facebook page below. You can check out his work there. Matt, thank you for sending this in. Keep up the great work. Next up, we have some knives from Carlos, and he's a maker from Brazil. Now, this first knife here was actually featured in a Tool Time Tuesday quite a while ago, and since then, he's made some more knives and sent those in. I really, really like this work. Check out this friction folder. This is a beautiful looking knife. Also, he's got the signing block in the background there. Nicely done, Carlos. And then these kitchen knives, just really, really well. I like they're very unique. Uh, their styling is, is not something you see every day, but I think they just look fantastic. And this is excellent, excellent work. So Carlos, thank you for sending this in. And uh, I really do appreciate your kind email. Next up, we have a knife from Jemdre, and Jemdre is from Istanbul, Turkey. This is the very first knife he's ever made. He says here the steel is CK75 carbon steel. I've never heard of that myself, but that sounds really cool. And then the handle is from olive wood. This is a great looking blade for your very first one. I really like the shape and the size. Nice texturing on there. Very well done. Jemdre, thank you for sharing this with us. We are going to head from Istanbul, Turkey to Newfoundland, Canada. Now, David is a knife maker in progress, as he describes himself, and these two knives are his third and fourth knives. The steel he used is 154CM, and he used pink black G10 and blue G10 for the handle scales. Corby fasteners with epoxy to hold everything together, and these are fantastic looking knives. I really like your, your maker's mark there. It looks nautical. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be. It looks like it could be... Uh, you know, something with a boat or, or an iceberg or something like that, but really great looking blades. And I really like the profile here as well. So David, thank you so much for sharing these. Really cool to see what you're making out there in Newfoundland and uh, keep having fun. Tunnel Rat. Tunnel Rat is the email that these came from, and I really don't know this person's real name. Uh, they didn't give a lot of information on these knives either. Uh, obviously, you can tell by looking at them, they appear to have been made from files or a rasp. And I simply said that it, these were about 10 years ago he made these knives, and he really enjoyed the creative process. So, Tunnel Rat, I hope that you still enjoy the process. I hope you're still making knives, and thank you for sending these in. Next up, we have this knife sent to me from Hawken, and Hawken is from Norway. Uh, he says he's been inspired by this channel, so I really appreciate your wonderful email. And this knife he made from O2 Steel, and it was inspired by my one of my cleavers that I've done. He used pear wood for the scales, and I think that's a really great look. Just looks smooth with the wood there. He's got some nice brass pins there and a lanyard tube. So Hawken, thank you so much for sharing this. This is a fantastic looking blade, and keep up the great work. 
And we are going to wrap up this edition of Viewers Knives by taking a look at these two blades. These are sent to me from a Tristan, and Tristan is a 21-year-old from Virginia. He made these two knives as gifts, one for his girlfriend and one for his girlfriend's stepdad. I always like seeing knives that are made as gifts. I find it very interesting to get that part of the backstory. Uh, further to that backstory, um, these knives were made from 01 tool steel. Uh, the black paper micarta was uh, obviously for the black handled knife, but the olive handle, uh, that is actually blessed olive wood. He had a Catholic priest bless that olive wood uh, that's just interesting to me again just more of the backstory that we can find out when I read these wonderful emails so Tristan thank you so much for sharing this with us uh, thanks for your excellent email I think these knives look fantastic and hopefully you're making many more so if you'd like to have your knife featured on this channel, just email me, jeremy at homesteadknives.com. Right now I've got about, it's, it's a backlog of over 300 knives to be featured. So just be patient, send it in one time, and we will get around to doing it. I haven't had a chance to do a lot of these videos lately. Hopefully we can get back into a more regular uh, routine of getting these videos uh, produced and sent out to you guys. Because again, it is so neat just hearing the stories behind it and seeing what you guys are doing. Uh, I really do appreciate you sharing these with me and allowing me to share them with other people as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And I thank you so much for watching. Cheers.